Vladimir Putin just threatened to use nuclear arms against NATO forces in the Western Ukraine. That is crazy. That is huge. What does the future hold in the way of this? Is this in prophecies? Could this potentially happen? Well, we're going to take a deep, intense look at the situation, along with exactly what Putin said that you might not see on your local main news networks. I welcome y'all back to my channel, and I welcome y'all to my channel that haven't been here before. My name is Joseph Tittle, aka Spirit Man JT, and I am here to bring you love, light, truth, predictions, and prophecy. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe down below, right over here. Click the bell, followed by all if you want to get notifications. Be sure to check your cellular devices as well. And give me a like, that's always helpful, because I love you, so I deserve at least a little like, right? And all my social media stuff is down below in the description. Check it out, including the Awaken Your Spirit Subscribe Star Support Platform. So let's take a look into the threats that came out of Putin's mouth. I want to stress it one more time. I've been saying it, but I'd very much like you to finally hear me and to deliver it to your audience in print, TV, and online. Do you understand it or not that if the Ukraine joins NATO and attempts to bring Crimea back by military means, the European countries will automatically be pulled into war and conflict with Russia? Of course, NATO and Russia potentials are incomparable. We understand it. But we also understand that Russia is one of the leading nuclear powers, and by some modern components, it even outperforms them. There will be no winners. And you will be pulled into this conflict against your will. You won't even have time to blink an eye when you execute Article 5, the collective defense of NATO members. Mr. President, Macron, of course, doesn't want this. And I don't want it. And I don't want it, which is why we are here, torturing me for six hours straight. All right, so together we have to take into notion the fact that Vladimir Putin did this big address that we just went through. And in that address, he specifically said the NATO forces staying out of the Ukraine and so forth, basically warning them that, like, leave it as is, as what I got out of it anyway. Or you're going to bring on war and you're going to cause Russia to use weapons that are very strong and powerful. So NATO forces, if they happen to penetrate through through that borderline and do exactly what he warned not to do after warning that he would use nukes, basically, that should show the whole world very clearly what NATO forces are all about and how the UN and their army of NATO are there to instill eventually the one world government, the one world currency, and eventually the one world religion. The religion of worshiping Lucifer and Bofamit and their evil demon deities. Is that where we want things to go? Of course not, but that's their goal. And that's what that's all about. And if you're not familiar, familiarize yourself with the UN, the creators of the UN, the secret societies, the NATO forces and the destruction that they have caused throughout the world uh, and how they are pushing now for those that aren't a part of that NATO to become a part of it. That should be a very clear sign to everybody, my friends, a very clear sign. That's why we need to rise up and we need to rise up, not as a nation, but as a planet, as the race, the human race. As we know, Nostradamus wrote many prophecies in the form of what was referred to as quatrains. And in his book of quatrains, he refers to three antichrists. The first one being Napoleon, that he calls by name. The second one being Hitler, which we know is Hitler. The third one being Mabon, M-A-B-O-N. Mabon, in one of his quatrains, it says, Upon the death of Mabus. It says the bear and the eagle will unite against the snake and the dragon. So the death of Mabas would have to be who ignites World War III, which hasn't quite happened yet. And what name is similar to the name Mabas? Because if you look at Nostradamus's quatrains, he calls Napoleon pretty much by the name. Hitler, Hitler, Mabon has to be pretty close to the name. 
Does anybody have any opinions on that? Please leave your comments down below. I really would like to hear about that. But the bear and the eagle, of course, represent Russia and the United States. The dragon, of course, being China. The snake, I would believe, is probably Iran. But I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see where that goes. But again, your opinions down below are greatly appreciated. Check out this particular illustration that's in Nostradamus' Book of Quatrains and Prophecies. And with this picture goes the prophecy that a feeble man shall rule the Western world with a Jezebel. Would that be the feeble man representing the sun? And then on the opposite side, the feeble woman or Jezebel, shall we say? Jezebel is one of the names of many of the demons that are summoned in dark magic. And in the middle, it could very, very likely look like somebody holding an ice cream cone, if you happen to know what I mean. So, you be the judge of that. Leave your comments below and let me know what you think. As far as Iran having a nuke, they're already there, folks. They're already there. They have everything and they are building it and China is helping them. So, this potential Putin threatening and putting out threats of using weapons that would not be good for any of us as he states in his speech and his address would have to be nuclear related of course and that would be down in the eastern western ukraine and russia and that whole area now of course you know united states would have to jump right in because that's what they want and they want to be a part of that and that would be bad because if that happened that would be pretty much the end as we know it once that launch of a uh, nuke happens it's just going to be continuous throughout the world I don't believe it's time for that yet, but I do believe that there will be weapons of mass destruction that will be used in the future and likely in the very near future. The Great War, as it's talked about in prophecies, the natives call it the Great War, and we today call it World War III. The Great War is going to begin and come out of mainly Israel and Iran. Israel is the hub and the main focus in all the prophecies of the Bible anyway. So I don't see that happening anytime soon. Although I do see things starting to erupt between Israel and Iran that already are happening and that we may not be aware of. As far as Russia and using a bomb like that, I actually sadly hate to say it, but I can totally see that happening. And there's a reason behind this that even we don't even know about. Because your media is not telling the true stories. They never do. And we have to look at this from different angles. So let's look at NATO forces, for example. NATO forces is part of the UN. United Nations. United Nations is the devil. Look at how it says in the Bible, the whore of Babylon who sits upon the waters where all nations come together. That whore of Babylon is the Statue of Liberty. She is Liberté, the ancient goddess of freedom. Also, right at the Statue of Liberty, if you stand on Ellis Island and look over, you'll see the United Nations and all the flags hanging. That is where the Whore of Babylon in the current day stands. So, the Whore of Babylon being defeated, connected with the United Nations, it's all connected. It's all based on the Luciferian concept and the one world government. The NATO forces trying to enter the Western Ukraine. I don't know the details, I don't follow it, and I don't think any of us know the true details. But, if he put an address out there, Vladimir Putin, saying, like, stay out of there, or it's going to be bad for all of us, not just just you, but for all of us, it'll be bad, and it would be. Nuclear war would be bad for everybody. I can see a large explosion going off that reminds me of the atomic bomb that hit Hiroshima in, in, back in the day, and I see that, and, and Spirit shows me that vision right now as I record this video. I don't know whether that's all nuke related or what the deal is, but I do see something like that being launched. Thankfully, I don't believe there'll be more than that. Uh, remember, I told you everything does come in threes. If you go back to my past predictions, I talked about in my past predictions, I saw missiles being launched and I saw something with Russia too. You have to go back to my predictions. I can't possibly remember all the visions and everything that, I, that comes through to me from spirit. Something's definitely brewing there. And in the United States, of course, Biden put that crazy woman in charge who just doesn't want nothing but destruction for our planet as well. So this is going to escalate. And in the prophecy, again, when we put the prophecies together, so my prediction again is there is going to be some kind of big thing launched, uh, a bomb like the atomic bomb. I don't know who's launching or where it's launching, but also in some of the prophecies, it says that that something will escalate and push the climate change. Or, you know, what they tell you is global warming. A nuclear weapon would do that. We are definitely at that time 
of all the prophecies, what Christians might call the end of times. It's not the end of everything. It's the end as we know it. Going into the new earth nation and going into, you know, when all people come together. But in order for all people to come together, it means they work so hard on dividing us constantly. It's going to take something really huge for people to come together, and it's going to be those that are left over. We can't go into fear and worry about this. But, but also, also there's prophecy that I put out there, predictions I put out there that I see all of, of part of the Europe, a cloud of dust going over Europe that wipes out everything and you're not even going to be able to go there. I believe that this is the stirring up of that pot. But again, not until Israel and Iran have some kind of conflict is when we really, really need to worry. But definitely something's going to happen over there in the Ukraine and Russia. It's definitely going to happen. And it's going to start to ignite things. But I do believe that it'll happen and it'll come and go pretty quickly, which is a good thing. Let's just hold that in the light for everybody. Whether you like Russia or not, hold them in the light because the whole world needs to be held in the light with love and joy so that we can celebrate our lives instead of going to war, killing each other and destroying the planet. Because nuclear war or any nuclear bomb going off at this point on the planet would be just, it would destroy everything. And that would go through and travel. The nuclear radiation would travel through the winds. We don't need that. We don't want that. Although again, also in the prophecy, it talks about the water is boiling. Uh, and the, and the sea turning to blood, which black blood, which would be oil, of course. And I don't believe that's all happening yet either. I believe that's separated and actually going to be caused by a, not an asteroid, but a comet that ends up hitting the planet eventually. When? You'll have to stay tuned and subscribe down below so I can tell you more about this. Or hopefully you can see that... United States and the deep, dark underground governments, the Illuminati, whatever you want to refer to them, all that actually sit at the top and control everything in this world. The big bankers, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, uh, Schwartz, and all those people. Well, they want that. They are poking and prodding at Russia purposely to bring on the prophecies of this great war. But again, the great war isn't going to begin there. It's supposed to begin around Israel. So now we got to watch this closely and see how Israel gets involved with this, if they get involved, because that would be a problem. I hold it in the light. I hope you hold it in the light that it will be good and positive outcomes. But as I said in the previous reading around Putin, he is going to acquire new land in some form or some way. Whether that's the Ukraine, who knows, but it's going to happen. And NATO forces especially wants nothing but darkness on the planet. That's what they're pushing. That's what they're prodding. So remember this, and remember them telling you this today. When it escalates, something's going to happen, for example, a missile fire that might even be accidental. It's kind of accidental, but there's no accidents. Coming from the opposing force, NATO and all those other forces, the United States, or all those that are on that border, you know, uh, backing up with so much military, something's going to escalate. They're going to do a big poke at Russia, a big prod by igniting something. And then when it hits mass media, it's going to be the opposite. And they're going to tell you the opposite. They're going to tell you that they rushed in and, and raided. And that's not going to be the case. As of now, remember, things do shift and change when it comes to future events. So we can hold this in the light and we can shift and change this. And see all the troops just leaving, going away, being happy. Getting whatever they need that brings good to the entire world. So keep your eye closely on what's happening. But don't plug in and keep your eye closely through mass media because they are going to put you through a frenzy, a stir of lies and not truths. So all in all, my beautiful friends, more than importantly, we must all stick together and pray and hold the whole planet in humanity in pure love. For there is a war going on, a war from the dark against the light trying to destroy and enslave humanity while at the same time depopulating humanity more than 75%. We will win this. The light will come out at the end, especially when we come together, arise and awaken in pure love. We will defeat the darkness.
So until the next time, I love hanging out with you and love passing on some information to you. Remember, more importantly, hold the whole world and the planet in light. Hold yourself in love and light and celebrate life. Celebrate you. Celebrate the amazing you that you are, that you can be, and that you will be in the future. And celebrate the amazing blessings and miracles, the flow of abundance, joy, and happiness each and every moment of every day. The more you do, the more blessings and miracles that will flow into your life. Spirit Man JT signing off. I hope you all have a wonderful, amazing day. Namaste.